All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here, checking it out. So I'm sitting here with a box in front of me, and this, guys, this is a, uh, a JP Enterprises pistol caliber carbine. This is the GMR-15. I can't wait to show you this thing. This was sent to the channel by my good friend Ethan Manning over there at Manning & Sons. And, uh, man, I am looking forward to breaking this thing out and doing some shooting with it. But before we do, what I wanted to do was go over the individual detailed parts and show you how awesome this guy is. Now, it comes in a box just like this. Now, the really unique thing about this box is that it comes with a closed cell foam form. And this is designed specifically to go into a Pelican case. So you take it out of the box and you put it into your Pelican case and you go from there. The box comes with a really cool JP hat. Uh, you have a lock instruction manual. You've got some uh, non-bedding bore cleaning compound from uh, Genuine JB, Brown L, exclusively from Brownells. We got some gun oil. You've got some uh, what is this? Armite, yada yada yada. Some earplugs. How cool is that? And you have a swing swivel stud right there as well as a what the hell is this thing 10 round magazine this uh, also takes Glock 17 Glock 19 mags and uh, lucky for us we live in a state where you can use something like this happy sticks New Jersey rest of the world I don't, I don't actually wait a minute I don't think you guys are allowed to have the five round mags and thanks to uh, Phil Murphy and his whole group up there Anyway, let's go ahead and put this thing on the table, bring the camera in a little closer so you guys can see what a beautiful rifle this thing is. Absolutely breathtaking. Come on in here. Let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, we're sitting under the canopy. We just got done with a little bit of rainstorm. If you hear some dripping behind me, that's probably just from the water. Well, in any case, this is it, man. The JP Enterprises, their GMR-15 9mm pistol caliber carbine. I want to go over some of the details of this guy, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a functions. We're going to run out there and shoot some steel with it and have some fun. But I want to go over some of the cool things that set this guy apart from a lot of the other PCCs that are out there, uh, other than the obvious. But starting from the rear to the front, we'll go ahead. You've got a Mission First Tactical stock. As you well know, I'm a big fan of these guys, as you've seen them probably in a couple of my other videos. One of the things I do like is the... Uh, the Hogue over molded grip and I've run one of these things on my uh, what do you call that thing the full money is a Hogue well, in any case I do like those things accented with a blue magazine release right here as you can see it does have a beautiful mag well right there this thing right what is this guys what is this this is a, a 10 round magazine who, who in the world does something like that? Big old magwell right there makes it easier for you to feed those guys up in there. And one of the other things that I absolutely love is just the blue accents. This right here, this brass deflector is made of polymer and it's replaceable, which is one of the cool parts about this particular rifle. There is no forward assist on it. It's just nice and milled upper. One of the things you will notice about this upper right here this is called the PSC-17, and this was one of the other items that sets this guy apart, is not only do you have a charging handle that is a Radian Raptor, but you also have a left side charging, just like that. Look at that. Now, one of the things to take in consideration is if you're running your cheek way up here on the front of this thing, when you do run it back, there is a piece that comes back to the rear. That's one of the things I was just looking at that. We've got a safety selector that's anodized. There is kind of a ambi. I don't know, but I, yeah, it's going to be a little hard, but you can tell where it's going on that end of it. But I do like the matching accents. This thing runs the JP reliability trigger. It has this roller piece on there. Let me see if I can get that to come into focus. And in any case, I'm not sure that's going to take for me. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I will tell you this, three and a half pounds. Now watch this reset. Beautiful trigger pull on that thing. Beautiful reset. Gorgeous trigger action right there. We'll go ahead and take the gun apart here in a few minutes. Moving forward, we got a Mark III handguard. This is the J from JP. And you notice that a little blue thing inside 
that is the heat sink. And what that does is that keeps that barrel cool, or at least that's what they say. I am actually uh, happy about seeing this rifle because I'm doing the new 6.5 Creedmoor build and I am running, I am going to install the Mark III handguard, except this one's I think is about 12 inches, the one that I'm actually putting on the 6.5 Creedmoor, 17.25 inches. You do have a QD attachment point right there and a hand stop right there. Nice little add-on features. And on the handguard itself, let me show you this, there are little screw holes right here. For, and those are for your attachments. So there's not uh, an M-Lock or a key mod series here, but they do make a handguard that is a M-Lock. One of the things that I chose, because I do like the texturing on this, this handguard is more like it has checkering on it, and it is really, really cool. One of the things that also it does is it really does a good job of isolating the barrel from the upper receiver, but yet keeps it strong and attached. Up front, we've got this really cool JP muzzle brake. This is a polished stainless steel, 14 and a half inch barrel. It does come in a Teflon as well. Now, moving to the rear here, this carbine, if you look inside, look at the trigger system. Look at that, this is beautiful. Now let me go ahead and show you the trigger one more time while we're up here. The reset, the pull, three and a half pounds, but look at the reset. That, all right, so one of the things that this is equipped with is the JP Silent Capture Spring right here. If you guys are not familiar with that, that's what this is. And essentially, it is a guide rod with a spring attached to it and a Teflon puffer back here in the back. What happens is that rod comes out just like that. Very nice little add-on. What that does is it really is silent, but set up with a beautiful milled upper and lower. This, this pistol caliber carbine is amazing. Now, one of the things I do want to show you is this guy right here. We'll go ahead and bring the camera in real close. This is JP's bolt. Now, what I want to do is I want to just lean this back. Hear that? That's called absolute amazing. Let's go ahead and pull that out. I want to show you this bolt the way it sits here. Look at that. It does have a tooth extractor right there, as you can see. But look how smooth. This is absolutely polished to... Uh, it's amazing. I don't know that that's coated with anything, but I do know that it is smooth, and it's labeled 9mm right there. And it is a direct blowback. I'm not going to take it apart. You guys have seen these things taken apart before. So let's go ahead and do this. One of the things they do claim is that this rifle will maintain a 3MOA at 100 yards. Now I've got 124 grain bullets back there. We're gonna go ahead and set up a target up range. And you know what? I'm not so concerned about it uh, maintaining a 3MOA group. But what I do wanna do is I wanna shoot some steel at 100 yards. So let's go ahead, set this guy up, and uh, we'll put a camera up down range. So I think it can't, the range's done and let's have some fun. All right, guys, so we're trying something new here. One of the things I wanted to try, uh, I'm listening to some folks talking about zeroing distances, uh, specifically for red dots, things of that nature. And uh, a SEAL gentleman named Sean Ryan uh, really, really likes that 36 yard zero. So what I've done, I've got this guy zeroed at 36. It's a PCC, not really matter. But the, uh, the battle rifle that I'm putting together uh, I am using a red dot or a dot system with a magnifier. So I'm going to go ahead and test that guy out at 36 yards. But right now I got a 10 inch target. She's out there uh, 100 yards. The cool thing about the PCC, this guy's supposed to be sub MOA or 3 MOA at 100 yards. Now we've got this thing topped off with the ACSS Cyclops and we're going to just go ahead. I need a mag. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I got my Chuck Schumer glasses on. I know that made some people sick the last time. What we're doing is we're shooting 124 grain, round nose, uh, federal ammo. And let's see if we can just hit that thing. Here we go. I got a camera down there.
<laughs> Where's X ring when you need him? All right, not bad. That was a lot of fun. Actually, it wasn't real bad. <laughs> In any case, one of the things that I found with the last round hold open, most PCs they don't have PCCs. Most PCCs don't have round last round hold open. You say it. The only the only downfall of that is this bolt release right here is hard to get to. So when you reset your mag or you have that last round hold open and you're going into it like this, you've got a competition with this little rail here. Other than that, uh, man, what a great shooter. Let's go down here to the other range and uh, pop off some rounds. I wanna show you how the recoil is. Thing really does well with recoil. Stand by. Oh, man, I tell you what, this Cyclops is something else. Now what I want you to do is watch the uh, recoil on here. Bad, but I do like that last round hold up and I guess you could just do that right there if you weren't pleased with it What I want to do is I want to show you the trigger on this thing like we do the trigger test stand by Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you this trigger now the thing is it's on a roller bearing look at that All right trigger pull There's a reset Watch that reset in competition shooting, that is so important. All right, one of the cool things about this rifle, if you can notice, it's got that heat sink in it. And what that's doing is it's dissipating that heat away from the grip. What I want to show you now is how this muzzle brake mitigates muzzle recoil and rise. We've done this a little while ago, I believe. But I want you guys just to follow along with me here. Here we go. And again, you see my finger is fighting for space for that rail right there. Man. A badass little rifle, I will tell you this. Uh, retail on this guy, a lot. I'll put it in the comments section down below. I can't remember exactly what it is. But I'll tell you what, JP puts together a absolutely, oh my gosh, foin weapon. And you got that charging, left side charging thing. And if you're used to it, or if that's something that you want, I guess that's, you could use that. I, uh, I'm so used to doing this that uh, that wouldn't be effective for me, uh, especially in competition. But anyway, guys, that's it. The knurling on this thing is absolutely crazy. You got You can move this guy over here if you want. The uh, JP bolt is beautiful. And don't forget, we got that Cyclops sitting on top of it. That thing's done a great job. Uh, the nice thing about the Cyclops, and we'll follow that up in another video, is that you uh, don't always fight with your glasses on. And that's the advantage of this guy. All right, what are my thoughts are on this thing? Uh, if you're into competition or you just really like fine firearms, this thing is the cat's meow. That heat sink, the barrel, the bolt carrier, the trigger is immaculate. Uh, I did find that I was able to use that left side safety lever not bad I uh, would have liked to see if you're gonna put it there put it there uh, you know my thoughts on this guy right here I think it's one of the better uh, competition style uh, minimalist stocks of course that's the name of it uh, it comes with the uh, Radian Raptor on it I mean 
and I'm, I don't know if that's the, uh, yeah, that's the polymer one. So you're getting a polymer on an expensive rifle. The reason I haven't taken this thing off is I want to send this back to uh, Ethan. Speaking of, Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons. <laughs> I'm going to put the link down. Don't forget to look down there. Go subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of cool things, and man, he's got a lot of high-end, really nice firearms. He also just carries regular old everyday firearms. So if you're in Illinois and you want to get something cool, check out Manning and Sons. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. It's my video of the uh, JP Pistol Caliber Carbine. This thing also comes in uh, two pistol lengths. Uh, check them out on their website, jprifles.com or something like that. I don't know. I don't ever get to review these cool rifles. But this is nice. It's Cutter Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. I need to put my cap back on there. It's Cutter Boy 32. I'm out.